Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve a Poisson distribution problem. So let's read the problem. Births in a certain hospital occur randomly at an average rate of 2.4 births per hour. Now, although it is not stated here, let us assume that the distribution is a Poisson distribution. Letter A. What is the probability that there will be at least 3 births per hour? And letter B. What is the probability that there will be exactly 6 births in a given 2-hour interval? Now, the moment you recognize that the problem is a Poisson distribution, to find a probability or a certain probability, we make use of the formula mu raised to x times e raised to the negative mu over x factorial. So mu here is the average or the mean. X is the number of successes. How many do you want as an outcome? And then E here is the number E. Okay, this is around 2 point something. But you can simply use the E in the calculator to provide this number. Okay, so let's take a look at problem A. What is the probability that there will be at least 3 births per hour? So it is essential that you know how to write this in terms of a probability symbol. And having at least 3 births per hour means x is greater than or equal to 3. So if we think about it, what we want to do here is to find the probability starting at 3 and then up to uh, next is 4 probability of 5 and as you can see this seems to be not ending okay because there could be 6 7 8 and so on and it is not practical to find the probability of all these um, values like for 3 for 4 for 5 and for so on, and for all the other numbers so what we can do is that we take the complement of this event and that if we want to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3, might as well find the probability that x is less than 3 and that we subtract that from the total probability which is equal to 1. In that case, we will be able to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3. In other words, to find the probability starting at 3, you get the probability that x is equal to 2, the probability that x is equal to 1, the probability that x is equal to 0, add all of this and subtract from 1, then what you get is the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3. So how do we get the probability of x equals 2, of x equals 1, and x equals 0? We will now be using our probability formula for Poisson distribution. And that is mu to the x times e to the negative mu over x factorial. Let's start with p is x equals 2. I'll show 1 first and then you can try the probability of x equals 1 and x equals 0 later on on your own. So x equals 2 means from, from the formula, so let's write the formula again, mu raised to x times e to the negative mu over x factorial. The mean here is, it says the average rate is 2.4 births per hour. So that means we have 2.4 raised to x, the number of successes. That is, in this case, it's 2 times e to the negative of the average 2.4 over x factorial or 2 factorial. From here, just use your calculator to find the probability. Based on my calculation, this value is 0 0.2613, up to four decimal places. And then, 
for x equals 1 and x equals 0, you just have to repeat the process that p, that x is equal to 1, is 2.4 raised to 1 times e raised to negative 2.4 divided by 1 factorial. So my suggestion is that, or my tip is, when you solve Poisson distribution, do not delete, because you are inputting values one at a time, do not delete what you have inputted in your calculator, because all you have to do is to change some values there. Okay, so let's compute again. So it's 2.4 raised to 1, or it's simply 2.4 times e raised to negative 2.4 all over 1 factorial or simply 1, we get 0 0.2177. And finally, for P of X is equal to 0, you have 2.4 raised to 0 times E to the negative 2.4 divided by 0 factorial. And this will be I'll just compute again. I'll just change 1 to 0. And then 0 factorial is 1. So that's equal to 0 0.9 or 0 0.0907. So P of x equals 2 of x equals 1 of x equals 0 is the sum of these values. So we have 0.2613 plus 0.2177 plus 0.0907. Now take note that I can do this all together in a single uh, inputting in the calculator. But since I explained how to get P of x equals 2, I needed to show you how to compute the exact value. But in the calculator, you can input this plus this plus this and then press equal sign then you get the value immediately so this is equal to the sum of the three values so one two and three this is equal to 0 0.5697 or the probability is 56.97 now take note that we're not yet done because that is the probability of this 3. The probability that we want is p x greater than or equal to 3, which can be obtained once we subtract this sum from 1. So we still have to do 1 minus so the probability that x is greater than or equal to 3 is 1 minus 0 0.5697. So 1 minus that is equal to 0 0.4303 or 43.03 percent now for the second task what we need to solve is what is the probability that there will be exactly six births in a given two hour interval so the case is now different because the interval is already two in the letter a the, it is just about finding at least three birds in a given hour. So how will the solution change in letter B? So we will still be using the probability of x formula for a Poisson distribution. And that is mu raised to x times e to the negative mu over x factorial. But noting that the mean is no longer just 2.4 because 2.4 is the average per hour. In a given two hour interval, the average is now 2.4 times 2 or 4.8 because the interval is already twice so the average is also so the new average is twice the original average 2.4 which is 4.8 so when you place the value we have 4.8 raised to x x is the desired success and that is 6 raised to 6 times e to the negative 4.8 divided by 6 factorial and from here just compute using your calculator and this will be 
So in my computation, that's 4.8 raised to 6. Multiply. So use the E in the calculator. You have E. You can use alpha or shift depending on the version of your calculator. Raised to negative 4.8 divided by 6 factorial. And that is equal to, in my calculation, this is equal to 0 0.13979, so that's 98, or in percent, it's 13.98%. Okay? Now, although it is not listed in this task, you might also encounter a case in which you will be asked for a certain average, like in a given 30 minutes. If that is the case, then the only thing that you have to change is the average and if if 2.4 is the average per hour so every 30 minutes the average is now 1.2 okay so just in case you have something like that to solve that's how you do it just change the mean based on the interval like in this case if we have twice so you double the mean if you have half of the interval you take half of the average Okay, so I hope you were, able, you were able to understand my explanation on how to solve this particular Poisson distribution problem. And I hope that you were able to, you will be able to tran transfer the idea when you solve another problem, but, as, but still under Poisson distribution. Always remember that the formula to find the probability is mu to the x times e to the negative mu over x factorial. The moment you know the values for the mu, the desired number of successes, input these values in the calculator following the formula, and you will get the probability. Now, you should watch out for statements like at least or at most, greater than, less than, and make sure to set up the proper probability expression for that so that you will know if you are going to um, split that into a number of probabilities and also if there is a need to do the complement okay if, if it is impossible for you to get the individual probabilities you can do the complement by using the idea that the total probability in a given experiment is one so subtract the complement probability and you will get the desired probability okay so that's it for our solved problems Poisson distribution video.